A headline just crossing from Fed Vice Chair Rich Clarida saying uh, no rate hike until we have 2% inflation for a year. Uh, Mike Santoli, no immediate reaction, of course. Uh, markets are, are closed, uh, just checking in on the dollar, which uh, hasn't done much. But uh, quite specific there uh, from uh, Rich Clarida and quite dovish. It is. Uh, more specific, uh, now remember there was a new framework the Fed's operating under in which they've decided that they want average inflation to be above 2% for a substantial period of time. They, they were not uh, more detailed than that in describing exactly how long you'd have to have that average inflation surpass or meet 2% for that to be the case. So uh, at least a year, I guess, puts a little bit more of a firm understanding of what, uh, of what the Fed means right now. And I think it is definitely net bullish. And they're trying to accentuate that they are not going to be in a hurry uh, to try to be proactive and, and over-anticipate uh, a jump in inflation unless and until they get the employment situation where they want it toward full employment and you take up a lot of slack in the economy. Right. Well, they, they don't want a taper tantrum. They don't want anybody talking right. about exits and, and, and tapering the, the purchase program and talking about raising rates, which, which there is some chatter about as, as we get forecasts for higher inflation and start to see moves like we've seen in the bond market and in the commodity market pointing in that direction. I think the question is how much of an overshoot are they going to be willing to tolerate? And if we do get very strong growth, as is predicted in the second half of this year, as the vaccines start to roll out and the stimulus starts to really flow, yeah. what that inflation number actually does and how much it can stay in that 2% range. But agreed, putting a year on it is, is brand new policy from Clarida. By the way, Fed Chair Powell on the tape will be speaking tomorrow. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.